Okay, another math video from AlgebraTestHelper.com. And what I want to focus on in this video is how to uh, add and subtract matrices. Okay, so this is going to be a pretty basic uh, lesson on uh, this topic. And if you're not familiar with uh, matrices, you definitely will um, will be as you study algebra and beyond. They're, they're really, really important in math. But essentially, all matrix is is a way to organize information in rows and columns. Okay, so that's all it is. And there's actually much you know, more um, detailed information about matrices. And if you want to know about more about them, you can jump over to AlgebraTestHelper.com and uh, find out more. But let's just focus on some basic things here. Okay, so here I have two matrices, and what can I do with them? Okay, well, when you have two or more matrices, what you can do, okay, you can sometimes add them, subtract, multiply, and divide. Now, there's all kinds of conditions on when you can do these type of things, but that's basically um, what you can do with matrices, okay? We can perform these various operations. And what I'm gonna focus on is how to add and subtract uh, two matrices, okay? Now, let's talk about adding two matrices. Now, if you notice here, each one of these has rows and columns, each one of these matrices. So this one has two rows and two columns. So we would call this a two by two matrix. We write it this way. Okay, two by two. This is the rows and this is the columns. Okay, so this one over here is also a two by two matrix. So if you're if you're trying to add, okay, two matrices uh, that have the exact same number of rows and columns, then you can do it. If they don't have the exact same numbers of rows and columns, then you cannot add or subtract um, uh, your matrices. Okay, so that's the first condition. If they have the exact same numbers of rows and columns, we call that the order or the dimension. That's just a fancy way of saying how many rows and columns they have. These these things here have to match, okay? So here in this case, uh, of course they do. So this problem is very easy. Let me go ahead and show you. I'm gonna actually give you one more term here. Any number, any particular number inside of one of these rows and columns is called an element, okay? So to add up these uh, two matrices, because they have the same numbers and rows of columns, all we're going to do is add the respective elements. So this first one is in the first row, first column. So if I just add these two up, I'm going to plug it into my answer matrix, okay, in its first row and first column. So 1 plus 8 is 9. Okay, this is really easy, right? So uh, I'm going to just draw my other bracket here. Let's go ahead and do another one. How about this one? Six. I would add that with what? I would add that with a zero, right? It's a second row, first column. So I'm going to put it in the second row, first column over here. So six plus zero is six. Now we have four plus this negative five. So we have to be careful we're dealing with these positive and negative numbers. That'll be negative one and then two plus a three and that'll be five. Okay, and there is our answer. I'm going to write it right here. 9, negative 1, 6, 5 would be the sum of those two matrices. Okay, now I got a lot of lines and I'm highlighting a lot here, but I'm just doing that to illustrate exactly how to do these, um, you know, what's going on with how to uh, add these matrices when, we, in, when in fact we can because the, the um, order or dimension or the size of these matrices are, are exactly the same. Okay, so let's take a look at, let me erase all this stuff here. So let's take a look at a subtraction problem. We're trying to find the difference between these two matrices. How does that work? Okay. Well, basically, it's going to be pretty much the same thing. There's a little bit of a twist involved, but not, not much. So let's say I wanted to subtract these two matrices. Well, what you're going to do is take a subtraction problem and turn it into an addition problem, just as if you were doing this problem. Let's say you had 9 minus uh, 12. Okay, so remember when we're dealing with positive and negative numbers, we oftentimes like to take these subtraction problems and turn them into a plus negative. Okay, we're going to do the same thing here. So what we're going to do is take this subtraction problem, we're going to turn it into an addition problem, and then we have to go ahead and distribute a negative sign to each one of these elements inside of here. Okay, so this is going to become a negative. This is a negative zero. Okay, you can write that, but it's still zero. This is going to be negative, and then a negative of a negative five. Right, a negative of a negative 5 is a positive 5, so this becomes a positive 5. 
So now we have a new problem. It's an addition problem. So we turned a subtraction problem into an addition problem, and we could just do the same thing, okay, as we did in our previous problem, and add up the respective elements. So 1 plus negative 8 would be negative 7. 4 and 5 would be 9. 6 and 0 is 6. And 2 and negative 3 would be negative 1. Okay, pretty pretty straightforward. Um, real basic lesson how to add and subtract uh, matrices. A lot more you need to know about this. I will stress it's very easy for students to make mistakes here because you're doing a lot of uh, operations, you're doing a lot of adding, subtracting. Um, believe me, you're going to make mistakes, so focus and write neatly. Uh, but there's a lot more you need to learn about matrices, and hopefully you'll visit our site, algebratesthelper.com. Tons of free uh, material there for you, all designed to make math easy to learn. Okay, so hope this video helped you out. Take care and good luck.